हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू स्मार्ट वर्ल्ड अ स्कूल ऑफ कंप्लीट एजुकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हिस्ट्री चैप्टर थ्री द हरपियन सिविलाइजेशन लेट्स लर्न अबाउट हरपियन सिविलाइजेशन हाउसिंग एंड टाउन प्लानिंग सील्स एंड पॉट्स द ग्रेट बाथ लाइफ इन द हरपियन सिविलाइजेशन ट्रेड रीजन फॉर डिक्लाइन यू शुड डेफिनेटली ट्राई दिस Show, show the sites of European civilization on an outline map of India. You can see here the outline map of India, where you can see the European civilization, which is clearly mentioned here. The the first sign indicates sites of harappan civilization and this square filled box indicates modern city and this dash dash symbol indicates present international boundary you can see here an international boundary between pakistan and afghanistan and between the Nepal and Tibet, and like this, you can see the modern city by the filled square box, and the by filled circle, you can see the sites of European civilization: Lothal, Rojadi, like this are the. Like these are the sites of European civilizations. Let's learn more about it. Archaeological excavation first began in nineteen twenty one C at Harappa in Punjab on the banks of River Ravi. This is how this civilization came to be known as Harappan civilization. It is also known as Indo civilization. Excavation also carried out at Mohenjo Daro, a place about six fifty kilometer to the south of Harappa in the Indus Valley. There was a striking resemblance between the remains of structures and artifacts found at the two places. Similar remains have been found at Dola Mira, Lothal, Kalibanga, Daimabad, etc. Generally, the same characteristics are seen in all the places of Harappan civilization. These include town planning, roads, construction of houses, drainage systems. Seeds, sports and toys, and beauty existing. Can you tell, describe the structures of houses in your locality? Do they have flat roofs or tilted, sloping roofs? Let's see what were housing and town planning at the Harappan civilization. The houses and other structures in the Harappan civilization were mainly built with baked bricks. In some places, unbaked bricks and stones were also used for construction. The houses or rooms built around a central courtyard. The houses had foyers, bathrooms, and toilets. There was an excellent drainage system in which baked earthen conduits were used. The streets had covered drains filled with ticks. This shows great concern regarding public health. The streets were broad and laid out in a grid pattern. Houses. were built in the rectangular blocks created by them you can see harappan civilizations well in this picture let's see can you tell this 
what problems regarding health and hygiene will arise if the trends were not covered the towns were divided into two or more sections and and each section had separate fortification try this cut a potato into half grave out some letters or figures on the cut surfaces using the nail dip the surface into ink or color and then press it on a piece of paper observe what happens let's learn about seals and ponds the seals of european civilization were mainly square shaped and made from a stone for safety tight these seals bear pictures of animals they include pictures of real animals like bulls buffaloes oxen elephants rhinos tigers etc and also of imaginary ones like the unicorn human figures are also seen these seals were used as stamps earthen pots of various types and shapes have been found at the excavation you can see seals here you should do this interview persons skilled in making earthen pots to learn how they are made what types of clay is used where do we get the clay how much time is needed to make one pot sites of european civilization there are red terracotta pots with patterns and designs in black color the patterns include self scale interlocking circles people leaves etc the harappan people buried their dead they used to bury earthen pots with the bodies you can see earthen wear here observe this visit the swimming tank in your locality observe how the water in the tank is changed compare a modern swimming tank to the harappan bath the great bath a spacious bath has been discovered by the mohenjo daro the tank in the great bath was nearly 2.5 meters deep it was 12 meters long and 7 meters wide it was lined with the bed the bricks to prevent seepage of water there were steps leading down to the tank there was also a provision for drainage cleaning and refilling the tank from time to time this is the great bath at mohenjo daro magnificent isn't it can you tell name the fruits and crops grown in your area what clothing do the people in your area use write the names of the ornament you know let's move further to life in the harappa civilization the harappan people practiced a agriculture the excavation at kalibangan provides evidence of a plowed field the people there grew different crops mainly wheat and barley in rajasthan barley was grown on a large scale while in gujarat it was ragi peas sesame and lentils which is mysur were also cultivated the harappan people were also familiar with cotton the statues the pictures on the seals and the remains of cloth found in the excavation indicate that the harappan people used to weave cloth the dress of both men and women consist of knee length cloth and an upper garment these were ornaments in the harappan civilization many times Many types of ornaments have been found in excavation. They are made of gold, copper, precious stones, 
has also shared covid receipts etc men and women both used multi strand necklaces rings armlets and breast belts women wear bangles right up to their upper arm a statue found at harappan site presents an excellent specimen of the rag which shows the man's facial features very clearly a cloak with a beautiful fairy foil pattern is strapped around his shoulder his shoulder a specimen of harappan art try this visit the grocery shop nearby from where does the shopkeeper buy the items in his shop list the items thread the thread the harappan people carried on thread within india as well as its countries outside the indus valley was known for its high quality cotton the cotton was exported to other regions like west asia southern europe and egypt cotton cloth too was exported the traders of the harappan civilization provided munsi dot to egypt silver zinc gemstone rubies deodorant wood were some of the items that were imported from kashmir south india iran afghanistan and gujistan the thread was carried on both by land routes and sea routes some of the excavated seals bear pictures of ships a huge dockyard has been discovered at lothar is screen share what was this a thread of the harappan civilization was carried on along the coastal line of arabian sea an artist visualization of the dockyard at lothar reconstructed with the help of remains it's unique isn't it the last point of this chapter reasons for decline of the harappan civilization frequent floods invasions by foreign tribes decline in trade were some of the reasons for the decline of the harappan civilization some regions became arid due to weakening of monsoon drying up of the river basins earthquakes changes in sea level etc people migrate to other places leading to the decline of cities the harappan civilization was a prosperous and flourishing urban civilization it laid the foundation of indian civilization let's see exercise first question is answer in one sentence how did the civilization get the name harappa what patterns are seen on the harappan pots What lot did the Harappan traders supply to Egypt? Second question is, what will you do when you visit an ancient site to obtain more information about it, to conserve it, etc. Third is, draw a picture of the Great Bath at the Mohenjo-daro. Fourth is, in the following chart, fill in the details regarding human life during the Harappan period. There are three divisions which you have to fill: major crops, plots, ornaments. Fifth question is answer in one word and frame similar questions. Write their answers. What stone was used to make Harappan seal? Sixth is on an outline map of world should. the other civilization that existed in the other part of the world during the harappan period activity these are two exciting activities you should do it prepare an outline map of your school and show the various places like a library playground computer room etc on the map 
prepare a detailed note on the grain storage system used in your family and your locality. These were Arab plain toys. I hope you got the chapter. Thank you so much.